Hello church, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you decide to watch the devotional that I'm pleased to bring to you today. My name is Atul Pandey and I serve as one of the elders at the church and I'm privileged to serve in the kingdom alongside you. Um, for my devotion today, I picked uh, one of my favorite passages in the Bible and these are the words of Jesus, the red letters in your Bible, and it's found in John 14, 27. And this is what Jesus said to his disciples. He says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, I'm constantly reminded, especially after the year we've had last year, that our greatest need continues to be the need for peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. That is what we need, that is what we crave. Whether we realize it or not, that remains our greatest need. And Jesus, of course, he knew that. He knew that this would be our greatest need. He knew this would be our greatest desire. And that, it, that is why just before leaving us, he left us with peace. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. You know, Jesus himself is our peace. He is, I know this is a segue, but I come from India I came here when I was 20 years old and that nation is full of billions of people who do not have peace with God and we are reminded that Jesus himself is our peace he's the reason why we do not have hostility with God in fact one of my favorite greetings is when Jews say to each other Shalom which means, which literally means peace be with you or I wish you peace. You know, I, I, I sometimes wonder instead of peace uh, that Jesus says he's leaving with us, he could have said any number of things. He could have said, I'm gonna leave you lots of money hidden in a hillside. Oh, you disciples go find it. Or he could have said, I'm gonna leave you with best health ever eat and drink and be merry and you shall never get sick or he could have said I'm leaving you with relationships that will never spoil and that will never sour and you will always live in harmony with your with your peeps with your family and friends but he did none of that instead he said my peace I leave with you and I do not give to you as the world gives I guess there needs to be a realization here that whatever the world has given us is not going to give us peace in the eternal sense. Only Jesus can. So let me ask you this. Are you at peace? Taking examples from last year, did you get COVID? Are you at peace? Did you not get COVID? Are you at peace? Do you have a job? Are you at peace? Do you not have a job? Are you still at peace? Do your friends and family love you, cherish you, want to spend time with you? Are you at peace? Or unfortunately your friends and family, they can't stand to be around you, but are you still at peace? Brothers and sisters, peace is our greatest need. And I pray that today, through the command of Jesus, when he said, my peace I leave with you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Take my peace. You know, I'm also reminded when the uh, shepherds were told by the angels in Luke 2, 14, the passage goes, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. 
if the Lord's favor is upon us, which I know it is because of our faith and belief in his son Jesus, then his favor does rest upon us and his peace is upon us. But you may say, well, Brother Atul, you say all these things, but I don't feel any peace. Well, my, my answer to you would be, the peace from our Lord is always available. It's like the, the uh, radio waves. You know, there are radio waves all around me right now, but I can't feel them. However, if I have a radio with an antenna that can tune into those radio waves, all of a sudden, I can hear music, I can hear sounds coming out of the radio. It's the same thing. Our hearts have to be tuned. Our heart's antenna has to be up to receive this peace from our Lord. And then all of a sudden, it really is overwhelming when that peace comes upon us in the midst of our circumstances, in the midst of our pain and suffering, in the midst of whatever it is the world is throwing at us. So brothers and sisters, I'm going to close by praying for us that when you hear this, when you see this, that the peace, the shalom will be upon you. Lord, I thank you for our church. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for these online devotionals, Lord, that you provided us with the technology and the way and the means to, to uh, Keep your kingdom in focus, Lord, as we went through the pandemic and as we're going through whatever it is we're going through now. Now I just pray now, Lord, by the supernatural power of your Holy Spirit, that your peace be on the ears and the eyes that hear this and see this. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.